All right, hey, I'm here with Mark from Bukla, and we're gonna just take a look at the uh, the easel. The new easel, the new which easel. Uh, people have been waiting for. It's been, uh, the process of bringing it to life has taken, obviously, a little, a little bit more time than we had hoped, but uh, we're coming to fruition now. Everything is in production, and it will be released soon, and uh, I swear. And, uh, but yeah, it is really, we've done a lot to make it into, uh, it's been a really cool process that we've been able to expand its functionality, keeping within the spirit and sound of the instrument. So uh, it's really exciting. So it's not just the new version of the easel, it's vastly expanded in functionality while keeping within typical Vukla paradigm aspects. That sounds great. So like what? What's, uh, what's new? Well, as uh, many of you have probably seen, the case is a new shape. It's more of a suitcase shaped case. Uh, and we've expanded it so to include this module, uh, which is the electric music box input output, which we lovingly call the MBO. And the cool thing about it is that what it was really meant to be is like all of the side functionality. If any of you have ever seen the older easel, like all of the functionality for output and power was on the side and kind of recessed, which made it kind of hard to get to and see. So we thought we'd bring it out on the front and the face so you can easily plug in your power, easily plug in your MIDI. And uh, then we thought, well, you know, since we have it there, couldn't we add some other stuff too? Not just the output jacks, maybe some functionality. So, like, we have a mixer on here, a, uh, like, slew control, a slew generator, a voltage control processor, all built in there uh, with a variety of other <laughs> input and output possibilities, including gate and volt per octave, which people would look really like from the case of the easel command. So now, since the uh, 208C is compatible with that, we can, you know, put that here, too. So we have a lot more functional control possibilities, uh, as well as some more uh, actual functions, synthesis functions built in there. Uh, also your outputs are here too, MIDI, USB, the ground so you can work with other Buchla function or other Buchla systems, the sustain pedal, everything is just right there. And then it's got this cool little light up window, which uh, eventually there will be functions added to that we might sell little components you could get in there. There's been talk of like an oscilloscope that could be in there. So you could actually see the waveforms you're working with or a VU meter. Uh, the possibilities are endless. A television, an ashtray, no. Um, the other cool thing is because of this module, we also have this other space that you could uh, fill with like your choice of Buchla modules vastly expanding the functionality of your easel, which is really cool. Um, you're probably looking over here and seeing the program manager, which is a new product of ours. Uh, we used to have what was called the iProgram card, which uh, we have improved and consolidated and made easier to use. Uh, basically, you will on your Mac or PC, you will have software that will allow you to save presets on this card then you just plug it into the system, switch it to remote, and all of your sounds are saved. And uh, so it makes it really convenient for, like for example, for performance, because uh, setting up a new patch by hand on the easel is not always the most immediate thing. You can do so with uh, the program manager. And uh, it's got a screen on there so you can read the preset name and everything. It's very immediate. Another thing that's new is our 218. We have updated the 218 in a variety of ways. One really great way is we have redesigned the keys so that there is more possibility of grounding because sometimes with capacitive keyboards, if you don't have clean, you don't have uh, clean power, you'll get all kinds of weird outcomes from uh, grounding issues or etc. So we've actually improved the grounding of the 218. So you'll have, it's a diminished possibility for grounding related issues. We've expanded the functionality. There's now a strip on here 
with both a voltage output and a pulse output, so you can trigger things and control things using this strip. Um, we have also added a pulse output to the preset voltage source section. So whenever you press one of these buttons, you're actually, you have the possibility of having a pulse output, which is really convenient. Uh, there's now a reset button because uh, sometimes when the capacitive keyboard gets to a point where it's not uh, in tandem with its environment, you can reset it and get it back to responding the way that it should to your sweaty fingers or dry fingers or whatever. So uh, yeah, the 218 is, uh, there's a lot more functionality going on there and it still has the same responsiveness that the previous 218 had. So it's just all improvement. And then of course the 208C, which people are pretty much used to now because people have easel commands and etc. But the 208C is here and it has all of the expanded functionality that it has over the 208 uh, and the way that it was sort of reconfigured so we had more control over envelopes and have more outputs, etc. So basically this easel is vastly more powerful than the previous easel and uh, without a significant change in price, which is uh, a, uh, That's always good to hear. a really cool thing. Uh, and it's because of the redesign of all of these elements, but especially the 208C. Um, of course, the question that you have is, uh, when is it released and how much is it going to be? At this point, we don't have solid answers for either of those, uh, which is kind of our uh, tradition. But uh, no, it's going to be very soon because the things that were holding up production of this, we've gotten through them. And of course, we've struggled in the same way that other people have struggled with the parts shortages, et cetera. But this is an imminent release, and uh, the price range is going to be in uh, around the 4K region, if, I'm, if, if that's still the case. It's likely to be in that price range. Um, and yeah, so you basically have an incredible potential for music making with this instrument with all of the improvements and the expansions and the possibility of adding another module. It's really, it's really a cool thing. Cool. You wanna play me out? Oh, play you out? Oh yeah. <laughs> you mean like musically? Wait, wait, let me ask this. Um, how, what's, what's the polyphony count on it? One. That was an easy answer for Mark Doty. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. That... Thank <laughs> you.